Morning guys, Monday morning and it's half term, so summer holiday. Captain America's going on holiday for a few days. I'm off to Hawaii, as you can see, I'm fully dressed, ready to go. So I'm gonna do a quick session with you this morning and then we're gonna get out of here, I'm getting out of here, and then I've got people coming in for the rest of the week doing little sessions with you. So we're just marching on the spot, just get our arms going. We wanna get warmed up pretty quick. People say I won't take too long to warm up, but it's important we warm up. Okay, and then half term, we're gonna make it a little bit shorter every day, but we're gonna do it every single day. So massive increase in frequency, um, as in we're gonna do five times. Time is gonna come down, and they're just gonna be shortish sessions each day. Hopefully I'll get you out to you about, about nine o'clock in the morning, um, so we can do it every morning, get stuff going. Just on the side. And we have a great half term. I'd say I'm off on holiday, so I've got a few mates coming in, different things, they'll probably mess everything up, but, just jogging on the spot. But the reason we've got to do it during our half-term holiday, even though we're supposed to be on holiday, feet to the front, feet to the side. Okay, and feet to the back. Now, I don't want you to stop training over half-term. Okay, feet up in front, because otherwise what's called reversibility will occur. That's another of our principles of training. If we don't train, if we don't have enough progressive overload, we push our body over each time. Feet to the side, sorry, to the hind, so we're just going to flip. So if we don't train every day, well not every day, regularly, do our progressive overload, then unfortunately, reversibility occurs. And that is simply, the training we've done goes backwards. So, imagine if you trained yourself to be able to run a marathon. If you didn't train them for a few weeks, you wouldn't be able to do it anymore. Just jogging, knees up a little bit higher, bouncing on those toes, so high knees, Heel flicks, just kicking up behind. Okay, a few little star jumps. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, it's just stride to one side, hold it there, back to the middle. To one side, back to the middle. Stride to one side, back to the middle. One side, back to the middle. As we're doing this, okay, just we get our arms moving a little bit. A little bit, so stretching out quite a bit, reaching out, good stuff. Arms up, just practice our little knees to elbows. Again, if you just joined in and you're sort of thinking what on earth's going on, try part one. Get back to where is appropriate, a few star jumps. Excellent, shake out those arms, shake out those legs. Quick stretch of our quads. Swap over. I'm going to change the music from a bit of Cliff because I'm, I'm going on my holidays but I don't need to listen to Cliff all the time. Go for a bit more, oh I've lost my cursor, just stretching out your quads. Hamstrings, so one foot forward, one foot back. And, oh, better stop Cliff before I go to the other one. Other part, uh, hamstring. And maybe a little bit more. Me. Okay, so just a few little jabs, get our upper body a little bit warmer, uppercuts, uppercuts, hook, 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 uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Okay, feet to the front, feet to the side, feet to the back. Great stuff, jogging on the spot, big circles forwards. Big circles backwards. One forwards, one backwards. Mobilize those hips. We're gonna go a bit crazy today. We're gonna to try and work for 50 seconds with only a 10 second rest. Go okay, down to our ankles, point down, point up, down, up, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. There you open right, we're gonna do 50 seconds. Up, down, up, down, in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Shake out those body, our other bodies. Anything else you want to stretch, maybe then to the side. So 50 seconds of work, with only a 10 second rest. Massively having to work so much harder. This is really going to be hard. This is properly pushing it. Okay, so 50 seconds, 10 seconds rest. What are we increasing? Is that increasing frequency, intensity, time or type? Excellent. Intensity, we're having to work harder. Okay, so although it is a little bit longer we're working for, the actual workout won't be any longer. But 
A workout today could be super fast because we'll just do this once through a few little bits at the end and then crack on. So, we're going to get the timer up and we're going to get onto this. Any other stretches you want to do? Oh. Sorry, there it is. So, last few little stretches like calves. Okay, maybe those last little get shaking out. So, 50 seconds, see how much we can do in those 50 seconds again. Collapse on the floor, doesn't matter. 10 seconds though, grab a drink, get on. We should know the routine fairly well. Well, still get it wrong, but um, we'll do our best to do the routine, and I'll bet you my mates mess it all up anyway this week. So, let's go for it. Star jumps. Hope you like my uh, holiday outfit. As I say, off to Hawaii. Surfboard's gonna be there when I get there. Don't know what plans you have for half turn. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? I know some of us popping down the beach, getting a bit of fresh air, getting outside. Maybe even try and do this outside, get down the park, take it. We're very lucky to have the beaches here. I haven't been myself yet. I'm very lucky. I live, live near a river, live near a park, so I'll get down and do my stuff down there. That's 40 seconds. Okay, so we've got another few seconds to go. Five seconds. Try and get those arms nice and high and we're being as starlight as possible. Excellent, shake it out. Good stuff. Quick sit. Sit ups. Ready? Let's go. We've done all the other sessions. You've done them roughly on the days when I put them. Yeah, I reckon there's 50 seconds. It's gonna hurt. It is gonna hurt, don't get me wrong, but we can do it. Three weeks ago, I couldn't do 50 seconds of sit-ups. I might not do 50 seconds of sit-ups today. Probably couldn't even do 50 seconds of star jumps. I'm certainly told what I can't do. Let's see out the sunglasses. There we go, let's look over the top. And we're 40 seconds in. Like I said, I couldn't do 40 seconds of sit-ups a few weeks ago. So as we pushed ourselves, that's an aggressive overload. It's gone. Okay, and rest set. So as we progressively overloaded our body, our body's adapted through those effects of exercise. We've been able to do a little bit more each time, but we just can't allow this reversibility. So, knees to elbows. Ready? Let's go. I am really hoping that lots of you are feeling the benefits. So, smash it this morning. Nice start to the half turn. Bank holiday Monday. Get out, do some other stuff. Like I said, try your 15 minute challenge. A couple of people have said they've tried it. Yeah, that's hard 15 minutes of run or cope. And each time you do it, just see if you can go that little bit further. Personal bests, that's what it's all about. Not just in exercise, in life. Just push yourself that little bit more each day and life becomes amazing. 45 seconds. Look at that, we're doing okay. You need to have a little rest. Well, oh, actually that's our 50 seconds, shake it out. A little bit of water. Press ups. Let's do our best, see how we can do 50 seconds. Let's go. Oh, warm day. It's gonna be a nice day. But what a great way to start the day. Monday Madness. Woo hoo! Break it on the time. Quite when well done, 25 seconds. Keep it going. Ah, keep pushing them out, working those triceps and those chest muscles. Give it a shake, give it. Another 10 seconds. Woo! Last couple. Oh, shake it out. And um, rest there, well done. 50 seconds of press-ups, we know that's hard. Good stuff. Into the jabs. Ready? Let's go. The last time, we talked a lot about the components of fitness. We put them into two sort of categories. We have our physical fitness, 
And can anyone remember the other one? That's it, skill related fitness. But you can't remember which groups they go in. My well, BTEC, your 10s and 11s, but they know. If you don't, please go and read them. But we should have physical fitness, aerobic endurance, being able to work on our, our, our sorry, so cardiovascular endurance, aerobic endurance, same thing. Working our heart and lungs for an extended period of time. It's about making energy, making that ATP, and allow us to keep working. Yeah, it's measured in our VO2 max. Milliliters per kilogram per minute. Excellent stuff, shake it up. So, aerobic endurance is one of our physical fitness components. Squats, let's go. Hi. So this, much more muscular endurance. So, okay, it's working for a long period of time, making our muscles work for a long period of time. Obviously we use our muscles when we're jogging, that's much more aerobic endurance. So aerobic endurance, muscular endurance, two components of physical fitness. Excellent stuff, 35 seconds. A bit of smashing this out. Who would have thought we could do this a few weeks ago? That's what's motivating me as well. I'm ready to walk down the beach in a way, looking fairly good for my exercise. Okay, but also, oh, shake it out. Maybe I'll get down on the, uh, I'm not going to Miami, but you know that, gym beach, get going as well. Very quick breaks, mountain climbers. Ready, let's go. Feel my breathing, getting much deeper, larger breaths, increasing my tidal volume, taking more breath, more air per breath, as well as I'm breathing faster, so I'm increasing my breathing rate. We increase both of those, yeah, time them together, massively increasing out there. We're getting into our lungs, and then we have to get it around to our body. 10 more seconds, then aerobic endurance, Really feeling my heart and lungs working hard. Three seconds, two, one, four. Quick shake. I'm getting very hot. Shoulder press. So, ready? Shoulder press is above our head. Let's go. So, all this ATP we're using, we're snapping off one of the P groups, so our Denison triphosphate. Three phosphate groups to allow us to move. One breaks off, every time it breaks off, this is a little bit of heat. Hence why I'm so hot. My body's trying to cool me down by sweating. Not much use under a suit now. Woo. Shake them out, keep going, keep going. Just need a little break. 10 more seconds. Last few, three, two, one, good stuff. Shake it out. Very quick break. Alternate leg kicks. 50 seconds of this. It's gonna be hard. You might wanna do it slow. Very little. Let's go. Okay, more aerobic endurance. We mentioned our muscular endurance. Also within our physical fitness, we have speed. How fast we can move, not just how fast we run, but arm speed is important, like for bowlers in cricket, serving in tennis, we okay, so have our arm speed, we have strength, we mentioned that the other day about pure strength, lifting really heavy weights, just once or twice, and then we have our body composition, what's our body made up of? That's fat, fat free mass, Woo! that's for you, We've got about another five seconds. And the last of our physical fitness is flexibility. Shake it out, shake it out. So flexibility, so our range of movement around joints, how far can I get my arms back? Really important again in tennis, serving, stuff like that. So, lunges, ready? Let's go. I want to say, with these, a bit of balance. Stop me falling over. 
sort of dynamic as in there's a bit of movement. If I stopped here, it makes it static balance. To have good balance, you need to have good core strength. So muscles down here, nice and strong. Keep my body upright. Also, those muscles helping all my posture. For another long term effect of exercise is that our muscles strengthen. Gives us better posture, holds the body upright, less chance of things like sciatica, back problems when we get older, reduces chance of injury. So yeah, better posture as well. Good stuff. Shake it up. Shake it up. Skipping. Got the right. Let's go. Try and keep it going. Oh, I thought I was losing my grab skirt there. Keep it going. Backwards. Left foot only. Knee right up there, right knee up. Okay, working on that balance a little bit. Skip it forwards. Swap legs. Left knee up. Backwards. Okay, I'll turn it legs. Forwards. Quick feet. Last five seconds. One foot, other foot. Change quick. Put your skin rope down. Woo! Suck in. Blow out. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Doing well. Plank. We've got turn it shoulders. Ready? Let's go. So, us doing this, I recap the physical components of fitness. So, beginning with A. Just doing my heart and lungs. Measures my VO2 max in millilitres per kilogram per minute. That'll be what? Good stuff, aerobic endurance. Working my muscles for a long period of time. And my arms are doing right now. Use it to do basketball, beginning with A. Something endurance. Good muscular endurance. And then add speed. Remember that wasn't just about how fast I can run. Also arm speed. Strength. Lifting what sort of weights. Good stuff, really heavy weights. Yeah. Good stuff, shaking out. Body composition. Some of us have more fat than others. Okay, we have fat and fat free mass. We can measure that. Shake it out and then flexibility. How far can I reach my arms? Can I reach my toes? Can you do an overhead kick like Rumi did years ago? Good flexibility. Okay, just jogging on the spot. Those hands, don't touch your hip, touch your shoulder, hip to shoulder, hip to shoulder. It's not literally touching your shoulder when we really run. If you get used to that, it's kind of the action. Elbow going back, flying in it, bouncing on our toes. When I say go, we're going to sprint for just six or seven seconds. Three, two, one, go! Keep your body up, pump your hands, hips to shoulders, hips to shoulders, knees up in front. Three more seconds, two, one. Good stuff, shake it out. Keep jogging though. For the last bit of sprint, three seconds, go! Excellent. Okay, so we just got our curls left. Do a couple of little challenges. And then we're done. Good little session this morning. So, curls, get your bags. Let's go. Bow alternate. So we don't lift one, so the other one's down. But if you really want, work them both. Work them both. Yeah, or one and the other. With curls, you can twist. This shapes as different parts of my bicep. Keep my hands completely straight, like if we had a bar. Okay, different parts of biceps, or even across your body. So you, you lift it towards your opposite shoulder. Again, okay, working slightly different muscles, all within our biceps. And a bit on our chest when we do it across. Got fixators, synergists, all kicking in, helping out. Last couple. Put them down. Good stuff. Shake out, shake out, shake it out. So we've done our circuit. Sort of what we're doing today, we just want to give it a little shake. Okay, just want to show you maybe a good little one that, um, that I know I might try. 
So I've got my little Christmas carol book here, some of you might be reading that. It's quite appropriate for this time of year. I'm just going to take a seat. You can do this any time, so I'm just going to sit against the wall, as long as you've got a wall. Knees roughly 90 degrees, hips roughly 90 degrees. I'm just going to sit here and read. I have to look over the top of my glasses. Okay, so I'm just here. The first of the three spirits. When Scrooge woke, it was so dark, but looking out of bed, he could scarcely distinguish the transparent windows from the opaque walls of his chamber. So we can just sit here and read. Lovely. We all sort of chill out, calm down. But the trouble is, after a little while, the quad stuck to her. But it's really good. So this is called the wall sit, which is the ski sit. Because when you go skiing, these are the big muscles that you use. Up and down over the moguls. It's really important to try and work our quadriceps. So, bit of a challenge. How long can you do this for? Try it today. Try it tomorrow. Keep a little time on it. Get your favourite book. Can you read a whole page? I'll probably time it in seconds myself, but I'll get a little read as well. Get the newspaper out. And my legs are now really starting to hurt. I'm starting to shake. And, oh, rest there. So, shake out your legs. Shake out your arms. Okay, so, let's just jog it on the spot. Start moving that blood, blood back to our heart. Once it gets to our heart, right, right atrium, right ventricle, off to the lungs, back to the left atrium, left ventricle, the bottom of our own body. So, shake out his arms, shake out the legs, to the side, to the front, to the back. Just shake out your arms. Grab your head, shake out your arms. Lift the your head, shake out your arms. Lift the your head, shake out your arms. To the side, shake out your arms. Keep jogging, to the side, shaking up, to the side, shaking up, feet to the side. Okay, and just take one knee, put it right up, feel the stretch. Excellent. Hold it up there, shake it up, swap back. Good stuff. So if that wasn't enough for you, then I reckon that's pretty good doing 50 seconds to swap again. So do our quads this way this time. Um, if you found that fairly easy, hit start again, do it all over again. If you could do two sessions at 50 seconds of only 10 second rest, you're amazing, done really well, like really pushing ourselves. And this is the lovely thing, if I've done it on a video, you can just do it whenever you want. Um, repeat them. Do a little bit of stride, just reach to one side. Well, I've done quite a lot in the garden today, fairly tired, so this is so I'm going to do fairly a lot in the garden. I mean, I'm off on holiday. Whoops. Captain America's off on holiday. So um, maybe I've used up bits of energy yesterday. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, just bouncing. Thumbs up and down, up and down. Three little star jumps. Okay, stretch out our triceps. Like I say, just repeat it. Do your 15 minute challenge. Swap over. Uh, Sometime this week, I won't do it yet, I'll do it maybe at the end of this week, we'll just redo our re-challenge our uh, press-ups and sit-ups minute. So when I get back on holiday, I'll see if I can prove. Like I say, other people will be doing this for me over the week. I'll try and get them out to you by nine o'clock each morning. Um, if you want them any earlier, if that's not good enough for you, give me a shout. Obviously, if you haven't done, this is Monday, and you didn't get it in time, do this first thing Tuesday, and then do it Tuesday to Wednesday, and just have a little knock-on. I'm sure you can organize it. I'm sure you're very intense for people. It's been great doing stuff with you. A little stretch behind. Stay safe at home. Yeah, or if you're going out, make sure we socially distance. Make sure we look after each other. If you're watching this in PE in a few years' time and you're wondering what on earth we're social distancing and what we're on about, I'm glad we're over it, okay? A bit like watching Dave, isn't it? Could be. Big hug forward. Shake out, bounce. Take it easy, you're amazing. Keep it real. <laughs>